She is a full housewife and I earn seven figures monthly. After our first baby, I begged for sex for seven months and every time I bring up the sex, it was followed with blackmail, anger, back talks and even silence. I just feel she doesn't love me and is not attracted to me. I was probably just the available status changer because how can a woman stay in the same house with someone she loves and never feel the need to go intimate? My wife doesn't care about our sex life. We even stay months without sex now. I got fed up one day and decided to have a girlfriend which she found out about. She pleaded and I ended the relationship. In fact, she was monitoring me like crazy, not until she promised to change if I cut the relationship off. Six reasons why Nigerian women stop sleeping with their husbands. Out of the six, three are the woman's fault and the other three are the man's fault. Make sure you watch till the end. Reason number one, and this is on the man's side, is you are selfish in bed. And before you say anything, because whenever this topic is brought up online, men are so quick to brush it off as pointless right but the truth is there are so many men out there right because of lack of knowledge and also some form of ego that attributes the way they get turned on and the way they get aroused they almost compare it with that of a woman when realistically it is not that related in any way this selfishness also leads men to disregard the methods with which women finish with which women come right with us all it takes is constant thrusting and we are done right but with women is like a little bit more intricate sometimes trusting does the job sometimes head does the job sometimes the fingers do the job it is completely different from how we finish right so this disregard when you completely disregard what it takes for her to enjoy the process to enjoy intercourse youtube makes things out i wish i can just go raw but youtube is weird but when you disregard what it takes for her to be pleased in bed what is the motivation for her to do it with you next time yes you guys are married but if every single time she has the encounter with you right it is unpleasant she doesn't finish the way you finish right what is the motivation for her to do it next time men disregard the fact that there are so many differences between how we get turned on and also how we get to orgasm compared to women the differences are insane right so sometimes you almost go in there and and all you're bothered about is what you have to do to finish disregarding what you have to do to get your lady to finish and not just to finish but to enjoy the process as well reason number two and this is the woman's fault is she did not find you attractive at the point of marriage i can beat my chest and say that 75 to 80 percent of marriages are like this what this means is if you line up 100 couples right out of the 100 maybe 20 or 25 of them include women who are married to men who they find attractive why is this it's kind of obvious the fact that women place financial stability on such a high um pedestal and nothing wrong with that too if you think about it logically it makes sense for a woman to want to be with a man who is financially strong and financially stable but a lot of the time what this entails for women is they have to overlook how attracted they are to the man and focus on his attributes that you know contribute to a healthier longer relationship a more stable and a more competent relationship now whose fault is this how is this the man's fault i'm saying this because when women go on podcasts or meet therapists and you hear them complain and they say i just i just never really found him that attractive whose fault is it because all the man had to do was come forth with a ring and with a very good and set up life right if you did not want him all you had to say was no but you did not say no and from the moment you said yes you automatically assume all his sexual needs to be yours as well you have to fulfill his sexual needs now obviously not every single time because you are a human being you can't be in the mood every single time but at least seven out of ten times you have to be there to fulfill his sexual needs it is part of the deal because here's the thing you didn't marry him for nothing right you saw certain things you liked you liked his financial strength you liked maybe the family maybe the family he came from is also like a very financially strong family you like that for your future kids and for yourself as well that is what you are getting what is he getting in return what is he getting he should get your sexual he should get his sexual satisfaction fulfilled by you right so my point is You're getting a lot of what you want. What does he get in return? Reason number three, and this is a man's fault, is you become monotonous and predictable. I have said this so many times on this channel that you can be anything to women, but never boring, ever. 
I also, in a video I posted last year, I, I posted some research papers that backed up the fact that women actually get tired in monogamous long-term relationships faster than men do. They get tired faster than men do. And it is also ironic because a lot of the things that women do in the early stages of the relationship, you know, where she wants more communication, she wants to know everything about you, she wants you guys to go out on so many, like, trips and um have all these like encounter not encounters but have all these like adventures together what that does indirectly is a lot of the arousal that comes from that comes from novelty that comes from the fact that she doesn't know too much about you she kills that in less than a year or two because she tries to know everything about you she wants you guys to do everything together she can't spend um the day without calling you three or four times a day it's one of those things where she's doing it from a obviously she doesn't have any malicious intent but at the end of the day she loses attraction really quick when she does that so it is your job as the man to keep that from happening obviously it will happen at the end of the day you can't be with one person for years and not get kind of used to the person the sexual attraction is going to dip regardless but it is your job as the man to make sure this takes as long as possible i remember when i used to say if i got married me and my wife would have separate bedrooms but then we can sleep in but then we can sleep in either and people are always like oh what but that's not how we should shut the f up like you don't even know what you're saying this is not 1947 this is 2024 things have changed reason number four and this is the woman's fault is she uses sex as a bargaining chip what this means essentially is she says if you don't do x you won't get sex bars bars Ugh. she has all these hoops lined up for you to have to jump through before you sleep with her just one time and the sad reality of this is this usually happens when you are not her first choice and then the second reason is when she knows that you have no ability to get any woman out there apart from her but back to the first point right about you not being her first choice what you would notice is you would notice women complaining about literally everything you left the toilet seat up no sex for you tonight i didn't like the way you talked to me no sex for you tonight you would also hear reasonable excuses, like excuses that sound very reasonable, like, oh, the stress is too much, oh, I've had so much, like, work was so difficult, no sex for you for one week, because work was stressful. And let me say something about the stress point that a lot of women have, right? I've been in relationships, right? And if you've ever been in a relationship, the early stages of relationship where, let's say the girl comes to your house right from work, or if you guys maybe stay together for maybe a month or so, and she comes back from work she's once she has her bath she's unbelievably horny like the, it's almost like it's almost like her sleeping with you is a way for her to relieve stress so it's it's like almost very it doesn't add up right that the same woman who found sex as a form of stress relief in a relationship suddenly finds stress suddenly finds sex to be very stressful while in a marriage and my theory for why that changes from relationship to marriage is the fact that number one women genuinely get tired of monogamous relationships faster than men people don't know this but i swear to god in general women get tired faster than men in monogamous relationships so that tiredness means she's less aroused and when she's less aroused she can't tell you oh i'm not i'm not feeling you like that again that would be you know that would be too hit that would be a big hit on your ego so she just comes up with excuses and excuses and excuses and tells you oh work was stressful today oh you left the toilet seat open and that made that makes me um that makes me unhappy you didn't do the dishes yesterday night like it's one of those things where all the excuses are covering up for an underlying issue that almost cannot be fixed which is one you weren't her first choice two she looks at you as someone who is not going to get any girl out. Like, how you can't go out and she feels threatened that a girl sees you and is like, damn, that dude is that dude is very attractive. She feels very secure. Like, what other choice do you have? If I say no, you have no other choice, right? And the third reason is just the fact that with time, women get tired of long-term relationships. And you have to do your very best to keep that from happening. Or just cheat. Don't cheat reason number five and this is not the woman's fault is hormonal imbalances and postpartum depression i have said this in a previous video that if you get married to a woman who for the first few years or first four or five years you have had consistent and healthy sex with if suddenly she has a child and she 
just can't get she just can't bring herself to having sex with you you have to be smart enough to know that something must have changed in her body that is making her un- unbelievably uncomfortable to do it with you right so you have to give her the time to heal up the time to feel comfortable and also like not just the time but like with this time as well you, you need to show her as much love and care as, as you can reason number six and this is the woman's fault is she is lazy and what i am trying to say under this point is i don't care who you are there is no human being you will end up with you will end up getting married to that is not going to get a little bit boring with time even with everything i said previously about men trying to keep um you need to keep the relationship um you need to like keep on our toes don't get too monotonous don't get too boring even with everything i said about that there's still a limit to that if you are with one person for the next 10 years of your life it will get stale a bit it just will even with all the effort to like keep things spicy it is still going to get a little bit stale the fact that it gets stale is not enough reason to cut your husband off completely or not completely but maybe 80 i saw on i saw a forum on i saw a post on twitter where a guy said he has sex basically twice a year and he's been married for like 15 years twice a year twice do you know what twice is twice is rookie numbers for like university students twice a day is rookie numbers for university students. so it is one of those things where the fact that you've the attraction has dipped which is a natural thing mind you is not excuse enough for you to cut your husband off it isn't and that's why in this day and age you if you're getting married you better get married with as much leverage as you can leverage meaning money leverage meaning you are attractive enough to get other women there's so much you need to have in check because the fact is the things that kept women in check back in the day like religion like um uh what's the word like shame do you understand all those things are gone they are gone they don't exist anymore you're not shaming women and telling her oh look at what your fellow woman is doing she doesn't give a shit. she doesn't care right religion is not putting them in check as well right oh before men used to make so much more money than women now women can make as much as men or even more than men so how are you going to what do you want to you want to keep her in check she makes more money than you what will you do now what will you do now she makes more money than you what will you do now what so it's one of those things where you need to have as much leverage as you can before getting into a not just a marriage but even a relationship as well so the game is the game things have changed you have to adapt and change with the times thank you guys for watching if you like the video hit the like button if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button if you want to talk to me one-on-one about your relationship or about girls hit the second link in the description and we can set up a consultation meeting i will see you guys in the next one it will be